everybody, I'm In The Little Wood, also known as Martin, and welcome to In The Little Box, episode 20! Uh, we haven't really got anything special planned for today, um, I've got a really busy weekend ahead, so I'm getting this done now, and it's going to be fun, I hope you're having a good Saturday and a good weekend so far. I have got so much stuff to open this week, I don't know if you can already see it leaking into the shot, but that's all the stuff that came just in the last couple of days, so it's already pretty crazy how much mail that we've actually got on the show this week. So, uh, let's start, I guess, by opening this, I'm assuming it's some kind of shoebox, it's weird, like the more stuff that I open, the quicker that I learn what everything is, like the feel of everything and the weight of everything. Yeah, this is another pair of shoes, right, okay. I wonder if it'll be anything like the Jet Set Radio shoes that we got last week, if you haven't seen those yet. Let me uh, show you those, we got these through on the PO box not so long ago. You got um, corn and also gum on there as well, which is pretty cool, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, we got like another shoe box through, so I'm wondering, it might even be from the same person. I don't remember the name of the person who sent the last one, but let me open this up. There we go. And inside shoe box number one, there is. There we go. Oh, yep, there are actually more shoes. Okay, I'm going to make sure I read it before I open it up. Okay, we've got this thing, which is like. Some weird, like, burnt paper piece of scroll. Can you see this? Like, oh my god, whoa! <laughs> this is really cool! Look at that! It's like a proper scroll! This is the kind of one that I would overlay in, like, an adventure map, you know, when I'm reading it out. That's really, really cool. That's awesome. And the white balance has been, like, murdered by this as well, never mind. Uh, Dear in the Little Wood, also known as Martin, after you opened my Jet Set Radio shoes, I loved the response I received as a result, and I'm pleased you liked them. However, one thing bugged me. They didn't fit! <gasps> oh, are you kidding me? Although I'm grateful uh, that you're displaying them on your shelf, I decided to create a pair that you could possibly wear. Yes! Um, I've been watching your Nino Cooney series, so what better than to create the shoes based on your Nino Cooney? Enjoy! Oh my god. Written on on real fancy paper, proper time, proper fancy, uh, and painted by Matt Star 102. Uh, there's a video of me making these on my YouTube channel. I actually saw that. Yes, I did see that. Okay, I, I know these are going to be awesome. I've already seen them. Uh, I saw you do that on uh, on the Yogscast forum. If you ever want to post something on there, um, if you just put my name in the post somewhere, I go on the Yogscast forum every so often, and I just search the word Martin, and that's what I do. I search that. Um, Okay, cool. All oh, right, okay, cool. So this is like optional to read. I will put that with the shoes though, just in case. But here we go. Oh, my own Ollie shoes. <laughs> oh, yes. It's awesome. It's so cool. So on that side, I've got a little sapling logo. And on the other side, I've got a good old Ollie boy. It looks like a sticker, but it's not. He's actually painted white around the side to obviously define it off of the page. But you've got Ollie boy there, and he's got a sword, and he's got his wand. Uh, and then there is also... This one, which also has a sapling seal on it of approval, and on this side, proper shoes, proper wicked. We've got Drippy on there. Oi, 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 boy, put your shoes on. <laughs> We're going to go on an adventure to another world. Ah, oh, so cool. I'm totally wearing these. I might try and put these on now. If I could, if I could put, like, one on, because I've actually got blue jeans on today, so this is going to, it's all matching. It's good. I can actually wear these home. Uh, here we go. These are size 11s. I don't think I've ever had any of these shoes either. It must, I hope these shoes weren't too expensive, by the way, to buy, to, like, paint all over them and send them to me. I'd feel really bad if, if that was the case. Right, if I put that on that foot, there we go. Oh, no, yes! Oh, they're actually really comfortable as well. <laughs> Let me tie these up. I'm only going to put the one shoe on. I'll put the other shoe on after the video. But check this out. Here we go. Look at this. Boom! Yes! And then we got, like, drippy on the other side as well. Boom! Yes, I'm liking it. Thank you very much for those. Uh, who was it who sent those? That was Matt Star 102 Thank you very much, Matt. Absolutely love the shoes. If I remember to, and you'll have to remind me, everybody, I need to put an annotation on the screen somewhere or a link in the description to that video of him making these shoes. He did, like, a top-down angle over his head. It was really, really awesome. And I will put on that other shoe once I finish recording. That'd be cool. And then running this show sparkles, they're going to be proper jealous. Proper jealous. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Awesome. Right, let's open up a letter next. This one looks quite cool. It's got some nice green fontage on the front. It's got a little bit of a sapling seal approval on the back. So if I open this bad boy up, and I've just realised I haven't started my stopwatch yet. I <laughs> usually have to do that so I know how long the episode is going to be. There we go. I'm going to guess that we've been going for like what? Oh, this will be scary if I get it right. Three minutes twenty? I reckon. Maybe about 3 minutes 20, I think. Or maybe a bit more. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, it's adventure time me! With a crap ton of In The Little Wood written out in different colours around it. Which is pretty cool. Look at that. 
Oh yeah, I still haven't watched Adventure Time yet, admittedly. I need to get around to doing it. Um, right, this is says, uh, Dear Martin, also known as In The Little, and hello. Uh, hey there, my name is Heather and I live in Dartford. I started watching you when my friend recommended me to you and the rest of the Yogs cast. I'm glad she did, as I've been a subscriber for over a year now. I love watching your videos and my favourite series you've done is Kingdom of the Saplings. It's awesome. Uh, can you give me and my friend Kim Douglas uh, a shout out? Hello, Kim Douglas. Hello. And hello to Heather as well. Hello, hello to Heather. Um, please say hi to the rest of the Yogs cast and tell them to keep being awesome. A couple of questions, uh, just the two. Uh, what's your favourite thing the Yogs cast have filmed? Um, it has to be a toss up between. Oh, the thing that they did recently, the slow mo, if you didn't see that, that was really cool. They did like slow motion of Lewis popping a bottle of champagne and Simon had a load of Jaffers. Um, other than that, what else have they recorded? I mean, I'm a big, I was a big fan of Israfel back in the day, so, you know, I'm still a fan of that. So Israfel as well is one of the best things they've filmed. Uh, and what's my favourite song right now? Um, oh, that, that Taylor Swift one. Let me see if I can load it up. I'll load it up on my keyboard, because I just got a brand new keyboard, by the way. I should really show you this. I got a Deathstalk Ultimate. Razor, we're already calling this, sent me one. It's got, like, a number pad across the top here. And this part here is actually uh, a track pad, and you can actually do loads of stuff on it. Uh, let me know my favourites, I want to play you this thing. This is my favourite song, and it's kind of for two reasons. It's kind of purely for the song itself, and purely for the video that went viral as well. But you'll know which one it is uh, as soon as you hear it. Hold on a second. Come on, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Where is it? Oh, it would go slow on me now that I'm trying to do something. Here we go, this thing. You've probably heard this. Yeah, you know that thing. <laughs> right, then there's the bit where there's a goat, essentially. Keep a listen out for the goat in a second. Here it comes. Cold dark ground. Trouble! Yeah, that's that's my favourite song at the minute. There you go, Taylor Swift, you <laughs> trouble. It's apparently my favourite song at the minute, so there you go. Um, and other than that, that's all it says. It says, bye! So thank you, Heather, for your letter. That is my favourite song at the Minuto, so that is all good. Right, another package. Uh, we actually have a few boxes all over the place. Let me open up this one over here. There we go, this is the big old cuboid box. Ah! Sounds like there's a lot of stuff in there, oh my god. And there is a hell of a lot of sellotape in this bad boy as well. Let me rip you open. Oh, of course, there's, there's wrapping for a box that is already wrapped as well, of course. <laughs> Right, starring in the little wood, in the return of the sticky tape. No, not, no, don't do this. It's all right, st normal sticky tape I'm good with. It's duct tape that I'm not particularly great with. Uh, let me open this up. Oh my God, you put layers on this thing. <laughs> no, you just like, every time I peel a layer away, there's another message below it. Is there anything below this one? No, no, okay, cool, we've gotten to the bottom of it. Right, let's open this bad boy up. Cool. I'm actually getting a good workout doing this. Right, here we go. Oh, there's actually a few bits in here. Actually, there's quite a lot in here. We've got some British wine gums. So there you go. Good old wine gums. I don't know if they do. They must do wine gums in America. Maybe they're just not as popular out there. We've got a little ninja slime. You can see him there. He's got a headband on and he's got a tattoo on the back of his neck as well. A little, little sapling logo on there. Uh, what else have we got? We've got loads of stuff in here. Let's have a look. Oh, God, there's drawings and paintings and all sorts. Aha! Oh! Whoa! Hold on a second. What? It's like the longest letter I've ever received. Right, here we go. Look at that! Jesus Christ. There's actually not as much text as it looks. It's actually quite large writing. Uh, it says, Hey Martin, I'm a big time fan and I love the stuff you do. I'm like looking upwards to read this. Um, <laughs> I hope you like the way I wrapped your box. Yeah, I guess so. Um, I would love it if sometime we could play Minecraft or Tech It together. This is my email address. Contact me if you'd like to play. I'm just scrolling down a bit. I'm like, let's scroll down. I'm treating this like it's a web page. Uh, I also have a YouTube account and would love you to subscribe as I'm only... As my only subscriber is my mum. That's the most important subscriber ever. That's all you need. Well, sometimes it's all you need. Um, <laughs> I need to make more videos and whatnot. Um, what computer system do you use? Because I, uh, because the, you use your laptop. Um, I use one of the Yogscast computers, believe it or not. A lot of people think that maybe you put the name on those computers and sell them just to make a profit, whatever. No, we genuinely use the Yog Blast computers. And the, what's the other one called? There's the Yog Blast. I think there's like a Fusion 
just a flat. I know there's two tiers of them. But yeah, everybody in the office uses Yog Blast PCs. Shin does. This is actually Shin's old PC that he used to use for recording the uh, the Let's Builds. Uh, fun fact, it's like a little hand-me-down in the office, uh, which, is, which is kind of adorable. Uh, but yeah, everybody in the office uses Yog Blast. I would recommend those computers. They're pretty affordable, uh, and they're going to last a very long time because the spec is actually quite good. Um, so there you go, that's what computer that I use. Um, what else? Um, oh, you're asking what recording software as well. Uh, I use DX Tori, or I used to use Fraps, but DX Tori is much better because you can split up audio tracks, you can play in one resolution and record in another. I've said this time and time again, it's good. Uh, if you ever want to check some really basic questions like that, like equipment, recording, and editing softwares, uh, just go to innerlittlewood.com, click on the FAQs page, and you'll find it all there. Uh, and uh, do you think when I'm older I can work at Yog Towers? I don't know, maybe. Uh, what do I need to work this skill wise? Um, I don't. I, it's weird. It's one of those ones where it's not like a position opens up and then we get someone to fill it. It's kind of like it, people just happen to end up working. And it's weird. I got. It's it's a weird office job. Let's put it that way. Uh, but then he put bye and he put like a big picture of him at the bottom of it as well, which is awesome. Uh, and that is from Finn. So thank you very much, Finn. Uh, there's a couple of extra bits here. I've got chalk all over my hands from it, but. That's how good. We've got uh, <laughs> we've got Drippy and two Minecraft people on there, which is pretty cool. Uh, what else have we got? We've got the return address, which I won't show you. We've got a somewhat creepy, but also kind of nice smiley face. I don't know, that sort of scares me a little bit for some reason. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why. Um, and then we also have this thing. Um, oh, and then it's the pictures explaining what the pictures are. That's good. Sorry, I already knew what they were. Beautiful. Right, so that was a package. So let us open up a letter. And I'm going to open up this one just because I saw it and I really liked it. Um, I'm going to cover up the address, but there was tons of Pokemon stickers all over it. I know a lot of people are excited for X and Y, the first one that's coming out on the um, on the 3DS. So that's pretty cool. Right, let me open this bad boy up. Where's it from? Uh, it's from... Oregon, okay, so Oregon. That's America, isn't it? That's not Canada. Pretty sure Oregon's American. Ameri American? What's American? Oh my god. That sounds like a Pokemon name. Whoa, hello. Oh god, what the hell? There's some Pokemon cards in here. Now, are these legit or not? I'll have to watch, like, Max Mofo's video to find out if they're legit, but oh my god, look at this. Holy crap. Uh, is that legit? It looks pretty legit. Yeah, I think it is, actually. Holy crap. You sent me a, ch a shiny Charizard. God damn. And then there is a, a Samurott in here as well, which also looks a little bit shiny. I think it's only shiny on the image, though, and not on the rest of the card. Because Max Mofo did, like, he's got, like, a Pokemon channel, and he did a video where he explains how he can tell if something's a fake or not. I'll have to get him to, like, check these over, but there's a Samurott there as well. I'm well stoked about the shiny Charizard, though. That was, like, the one card when you were a kid that everybody seemed to want. Either they wanted the Mew, or they wanted a shiny Charizard. And now I have one. Ha <laughs> ha! I never actually had one as a kid, so that's all good. And it's also got the gym trainer on it as well. What's his gym trainer's name? Mm, doesn't say, actually. I've forgotten who who had that. I don't think any gym leader had it. I thought it was only Ash that had one, but there we go. Uh, did we find out who that was from? Uh, no, we didn't. Here we go. The rest of the letters here. There's some other stuff in there. There's some American coins. And, ah, here we go, letter. Let's open this bad boy up. And it is from... Uh, do, 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 do. It doesn't say who it's from. Okay, uh, it might say partway through the letter. Uh, Dear in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, I've been a fan since uh, since you were not in the Yogg's cast. Uh, sorry for my spelling of the handwriting. It's all good, I can read it. Um, and you've helped me convince my group of friends uh, to start a Tech It series. And I was wondering if you could help us with it. You're asking me for help with tech it. I need help with tech it. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's probably not going to happen. I'm terrible with tech it. Um, we were wondering also if you could join us on Skype chat. Probably not. I'm trying to keep my Skype private at the minute. A few people seem to have found it, but I haven't accepted anyway. Basically, if I don't know you, if I don't add you, then I won't accept you on Skype. So it's not even worth trying to add me. Um, da -da 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 -da. I almost forgot my name. Yeah, you did actually. <laughs> um, uh, I am Timmy. Uh, and I'm 16. Is that 16 or is it 10? 16, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and inside of this is my favourite Pokemon card. Why did you send me your favourite card? You just sent me, like, like your least favourite card. Send me, like, a really crappy, like, Jigglypuff or Clefairy or something. <laughs> something that you're never going to use, that you won't miss. Uh, and PSS, you're my favourite from the Oxcast. Oh, I thank you very much. So thank you very much, Timmy, for your amazing Charizard shiny card. I don't know why you sent me that. 
but it's pretty awesome. It's got a call to power and it's got malevolent fire as well. Am I the only person as well who never learned how to play the card game? I learned how to play the game on the Game Boy, um, as in like just normal Pokemon game on the Game Boy, but I never learned the card game separately. It was more of like a collector's thing. It was Yu-Gi-Oh! was the thing that we all learned how to actually play. Uh, so yeah. Right, let's open up another package type box thing. Uh, yeah, it's probably one of the only packages we've got. And this is something or other. Some kind of... Whoa, hold on a second. I feel bad when people send me stuff like this. Somebody sent me um, a pre-owned from game, because I recognise the sticker, because I'm cheap as well. Um, <laughs> it's uh, some Gran Turismo 5 Prologue. I don't actually know how recent this game is. There's like a copy date, uh, copyright date on the back of it. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. 2007. Oh, so it is about five years old. That's all good. But there you go. GTA 5 for the PlayStation. Let's find out who this is from. Uh, there we go. <laughs> it, it, it had to be done. Look, they've put... Um, if you didn't see our streams over the Christmas live streams over the, uh, over the Christmas period, we played a little bit of Terror, the MMORPG, and I created this guy, and uh, I think his name was Popero, because he was a Popori that I wanted to name after Totoro, and he sounded like this, Popero! <laughs> but, but yeah, dear in the little word, also known as Martin. My name is Jack I. Oh no, my name is Jack. I live in North Wales. Sorry, I thought you were just telling me your, the letter of your surname. Uh, my name is Jack I. Uh, no, nah, I keep saying it. My name is Jack. I live in North Wales. There we go. We need to pause. We need a comma there. Um, <laughs> I've been watching your video since August 2012. I've got some questions to ask you. Uh, do you have a PlayStation account? I do, but I don't know what the name of it is. I think it's In the Little Woods with an S at the end. I did have In the Little Wood, but that was on my, like, old, old email address. And when I lost that email address, I also lost the account, which sucked. Um, but, yeah, it's In the Little Woods, as far as I know. Um, number two, do you have any uh, any good skins for me? What, for, like, Minecraft skins? Um, I don't know, really. Minecraft skins. I, I never really have to look at skins, because I kind of have, like, my set four seasons skins, so... I don't know, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Uh, number three, what games do you play on the PlayStation? Uh, I play uh, Final Fantasy, I play Nino Kuni, I play Journey, I play Crash Team Racing. I did an Instagram of that the other day, actually. If you ever see Crash Team Racing on a shelf in, in a game shop, um, you can actually buy it, so it has like just the code that you type in. Totally buy yourself it, it's like three pounds, and you can get Crash Team Racing, it's like my favorite racing game ever. I did a Memory Lane episode, actually, on my channel of it, uh, so if you want to go and check it out, search Crash on there and you'll find the episode straight away. Um, where are we looking? I don't play Battlefield 3, sorry, and I don't play COD on there either, because I don't like playing FPSs with the uh, with the PlayStation controller, that it's a bit too small, like the sticks are in the right place on the Xbox pad. Uh, and two more questions, will you do some Battlefield 3 vids? I've done one, I did one Battlefield 3 video. If you've not seen it, it's actually quite a lot of fun. Um, make sure you check it out, just search Battlefield 3 on my channel. I think I did like four videos maybe. I did one which was like a montage, and I did a couple of highlight videos as well of I've me like trolling people and stuff like that uh, So that's worth checking out and we do a competition for a sapling to come to the office I can't this is this it's not my office. It's it's Lewis's he's the big boss So I'd have to run it by him But I'm gonna wait until the offices are done because the officers believe it or not are still not done I mean my office still isn't decorated. I've got a good old Beale sat over there. Where is he? You can see him good old Beale the uh... <laughs> <laughs> the infamous office painting. He's been sat in here actually since the day that I moved here, which is cool. Uh, but other than that, I don't have anything else up here. I still not decorated that shelf, and it's just this, just not good. And if you can see my room right now, with all the mail around it, it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> it's just not good. Right, uh, I reckon we can open one more. Let's do it. Let's open up one more thing. Was that a package or a letter? That was a letter. So let's open up a package. I'm going to go for this one, I reckon. I've actually got a big tube here as well, which I'm probably going to open at the start of next week's episode. So I'm going to do that. Oh, oh, it fell. Okay, it's all right. It didn't fall too hard. I don't think there's anything fragile in there anyway, so it'll be all right. <laughs> but, but yeah, I'll open that at the start of next week's episode. And oh my God, there's a lot of cardboard Minecraft related things here. Oh my God. And there's a bottle. Right, I'm not opening that. I'm not opening whatever's in the bottle. I told you no. <laughs> um, let's have a look what else is in here. There's some stamps. There's other envelopes. Uh, here we go, read. This is the one that says we have to open it and read it. There we go. Right. Let's see who this package is from. I should show you what's in here. We've got a diamond. 
Uh, it's a big diamond actually, it's like the size of my head. <laughs> We've got uh, a golden ingot, which is good. It's actually double sided as well, which is always nice. Piece of lapis, standard. That's a huge piece of lapis, isn't it? In comparison to the size of my head. Good God. Uh, there's a sapling. I always feel bad when people try to do these because saplings have those really awkward holes like halfway through it. Uh, we've got my little two tron chibi. Uh, whoa, hold on a minute. That's actually really impressive. You've you've done the front of it and then you've also like coloured in the rest of the image and then done the back of the head. That's really, really freaking cool. Well done to you, sir. That's that's clever. That's I never even thought of doing that. And I'm assuming that that is your Minecraft skin. And he's like, oh. Okay, cool. He's like, Romeo. <laughs> if you've not seen that yet, you'll see it in the next few days. A RuneScape highlight with Romeo and a girl called uh, Philippa as well. It's very funny. You're like, it's a bit weird. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's read the letter. Uh, Dear Martin Littlewood, Hello, my name is Connor and I love watching your videos. I would love it if you could show this on in the little box so I could see you reading this out. Ta-da! Uh, I make videos as well and I have three YouTube channels. Oh my god. Connor Mac Productions, Connor Mac Productions 2 and Connor Mac Gaming. There you go. Um... I would love to do some editing for you, it would be a great privilege. We already have editors in the office, sorry, and I actually don't use any of the editors, I, I still do everything myself. Um, I still do all my own videos, I do my own editing, I do my own thumbnails. The only thing that I don't do, because I don't know how to do it, is, uh, is process my own vocals. But I think Sparkles is going to teach me sometime soon, so uh, so yeah, so I do everything myself still. You might not think it, but, but I do, I do. Uh, in my recent video on my gaming channel, you're in it. You're a very small and kind of cameo. It's a Harlem Shake video. Oh, it's like a, okay, a Minecraft Harlem Shake. I see. Uh, there is a folder on your green memory stick. Uh, I'm assuming the memory stick is in there. I can feel the memory stick weighted in. Um, and what's in there? with stuff like the videos I make. Oh, okay, so you've actually put your videos on there. That's pretty cool. Uh, I love watching your videos, and you should never stop making them, because I know that one day you will hit 1 million subscribers. You put that in bold, so I had to emphasize it. Uh, in the package, I've made some Minecraft objects. They include a diamond, a gold ingot, my face, your Yogg's cast face, a really crappy sapling. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. Um, they failed really badly, and a lapis lazuli piece. Uh, I've made a video tutorial on my gaming channel of me making the objects uh, that are in the parcel so there you go if you want to know how to make those gigantic things giant pieces of lapis double-sided as well then you can go to his channel and oh my god there are a lot of questions uh, da -da -da. question number one what do you use while recording already told you that um, when you had an iMac what did you use to record and edit still the exact same things I just installed Windows onto my Mac as a separate thing so there you go uh, could you add me on Skype no I'm not going to read that. You, you put shush, it's, and then what your Skype name is. I won't tell you that. Uh, do, 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 can you give me some information about your trip to Ireland in June? I don't know any more information on it yet. I'll let you know as soon as we do. Also, we might be going to PAX. PAX East, but don't say anything just yet. Keep that shh. Me and Stripping are probably going to go. We're trying to get tickets. As soon as we get tickets, we'll book everything else, like hotel and flights and stuff. Like that. Shh, it's a secret. It's a secret. Uh, and I used to play RuneScape just like you, the 2007 servers came back up. You actually said this very, very recently, that's pretty cool. Uh, and there we go, it's really cool, thank you very much for your letter. And you just put, thank you so much for being entertaining with your YouTube videos and I'll never stop watching. Bye! And you put a little sapling logo at the bottom as well. So there we go. I think that's probably going to break over the 20 minute mark, even if I was wrong with the time. We've nearly hit 20 minutes on my stopwatch anyway. So, thank you very much for watching everybody. If you ever want to send anything to this PO box, uh, the information is in the description below, and it's actually in the description of every single video that I put out. Uh, and it's basically just the Ogscast one. Be sure to put a sapling seal of approval on it somewhere. Uh, let's see where there is one. We've got one on here now. Some of the letters I've got them on. Yeah, here we go. So if you put in the little word or Martin on it, or just the sapling logo, just some way of uh, showing Minty when she goes for all of the mail or terps, uh, who to give the mail out to, that would be much appreciated. So have a brilliant week, have a brilliant weekend, and I shall see you all in a little bit. Bye!